What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Big thank you for coming back and joining me on another video right here on YouTube. So recently I have started to take some of the weird and wonderful tactics that are out there in the world for Football Manager 2023 and I've put them through their paces in some single season sims and today I'm back with another video doing exactly that. This is going to be a full power tactic test where we are going to put a tactic through its paces in a single season sim using PSG, Manchester City and Real Madrid. Now we will go through the tactic in just a second. I will show you the positions, the in possession, the out of possession and the in transition and I will also show you those all important results. So we're already on PSG's homepage. Let's jump to the tactics tab and show you what this tactic is. So the tactic is called Maccabee 2-3-V-2. It basically is a 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two, or it could be classed as a 3-5-2 uh not too sure what you really want to call it um set up with some ball playing defenders you've got defensive midfielders wingers and attacking forward so let's break down some of these positions so we have a sweeper keeper on defend to kick us off we have three ball playing defenders at the back we have two defensive midfielders in the center we then have a centre midfielder in the middle there. On the left hand side we have a winger on attack. On the right hand side we have a winger on attack. At the top of the pitch we have an advanced forward on attack. And another advanced forward on attack. So as I said it's a hybrid system really where it's a 3-5-2 or a 3-2-1-2-2. Don't know how you want to judge it. Uh, its tactical style is custom. Its mentality is positive. Its in possession will look like this. Its in transition will look like this. Its out of possession will look like this. So pretty interesting tactic. Let's see how it has got on. If we jump into the competitions tab for PSG, you can see that they have won the Liga 1 Uber Eats, scoring 100 points with a goal difference of a 104. They also won the Trophy des Champions. They were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Lille in the Coupe de France. And they were knocked out in the round of 16 by Juventus in the Champions League. Let's have a look at how they got on in the Trophy des Champions. So they won 2-1 against Nantes in that. In Liga 1 Uber Eats, let's go to the stages tab and break it down first. So you can see they played 38 games. They won 33 of them. They drew one. They lost four. Scored 146, which is quite impressive. Did concede 42, giving them a goal difference of 104 with 100 points. So they won the league by 22 points, as you would expect. They did have 10 more goals conceded than Lil. But they did score nearly 100 more in terms of goals scored. Now if we look at the profile screen, you can see Kylian Mbappe got himself 50 goals. Lionel Messi with 31. Mbappe with an 8.39 average rating. Messi with 7.84. Neymar with 7.71. Mbappe got 20 assists. Neymar 17. Soler 15. And Messi 15. We had Mbappe with 14 player of the match awards. Mr. Ramos with his disciplinary issues with 15 yellow cards. And Hakimi got 15.30 kilometres per 90 minutes. So Paris Saint-Germain have kicked off the tactic test by doing what they should do and winning their league. Let's move on to the next team, which is Real Madrid, and show you how they have got on. And once again, we can see that they have won La Liga Santander. They got knocked out in the Champions League group stage and then went into the Europa League where they were knocked out in the round of 16 by PSV Eindhoven. They did win the Super Cup though and they were runner-up in the Copa del Rey and they were knocked out in the semi-finals of the Super Copa de España by Barcelona. So starting off in the Copa del Rey, we can see that they lost to Barcelona 3-2 in the final there. If we go to the Super Cup, you can see that they beat Frankfurt 3-0 in that with goals from Mariano, Modric and Rodrigo. In the Europa League, they were knocked out in the round of 16 by PSV. In terms of the Champions League, they played six games. 
they had a goal difference of two they had 10 points if we try and break that down a little bit further for you so you can see exactly what happened there all groups where are Real Madrid down here so they were in a group with Liverpool Inter and Bruges so they played six they won three they drew one they lost two had a goal difference of two and had 10 points but if we go back you can see they won La Liga Santander so let's break that down by going to the stages going to the league table and you can see that they played 38 they won 32 games they drew three lost three scored 127 conceded 46 had an 81 goal difference with 99 points that means that they won the league from Barcelona by 12 points and they were 24 points 24 points clear of Seville in third. If we go to the profile screen, you see their top goal scorer was Karim Benzema with 23. Rodrigo also got 23. You had Benzema on 7.62, Vinicius Jr. on 7.56, Rodrigo on 7.47, and Asensio on 7.33 for average ratings. In terms of assists, you had Vinny Jr. with 14, Kraus with 14, and Asensio with 13. Player of the match awards, eight of those to Vinny Jr. And they had nobody else, luckily, in the discipline or in terms of the bottom three stats. So once again, you have a team that you want to go out and dominate a league, winning by 12 points, and that makes it two out of two. Fortunately, no European competitions won yet. Let's see what Manchester City can do. Manchester City, disappointingly, didn't even win the league. They finished in third place on 74 points. Let's break it down then. So they are there in third place. They were knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Champions League by Napoli. Knocked out in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup by Liverpool. Knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup by Arsenal. But they did win the Community Shield at the start of the season against Liverpool 3-1. Uh, let's break down the Premier League and see what happened then. So if we go to the stages, you can see that they have finished quite a long way behind Liverpool, nearly 20 points adrift. They played 38 games, they won 22, they drew 8, they lost 8, including games to Manchester United, Southampton, Leicester, they got beat 5-2, Arsenal, Chelsea, Newcastle, Everton and Brighton. So some of the teams you wouldn't expect them to lose to, they did. They scored 103 goals, they conceded 61. They had a 42 goal difference and 74 points. So not very good for Manchester City, this tactic. If we look at the league though, you can see Erling Haaland managed to score 45 goals for them. So nearly half of their league goals. He had a 7.96 average rating. Bernardo Silva with 15 assists. Haaland with 15 Man of the Match awards. Diaz with 13 yellow cards. And nobody else in those bottom sections. So we can see that PSG, Real Madrid did their end of the bargain. They upheld their end of the bargain, should I say. And they won their league. Manchester City couldn't come through, finishing 20 points almost behind Liverpool. And not faring very well with the tactics. So I think this is a tactic that's a little bit hit and miss, depending on what type of players you have. To see two teams do really well, though, does make me think that it is a good tactic overall, but could need some tweaking for the likes of Manchester City if they're going to come good. Right, if you're at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button, please consider doing so. It really means a lot to be able to get these videos out to so many people. And the support I've received on the channel has been fantastic across the past couple of months. Really cannot thank you all enough. Before you go, don't forget there are other tactic videos. There are Let's Plays, Wonder Kids, Tips tutorials a little bit of something for everybody on the channel but for this one i'm going to wrap it there i'll see you on another video soon